Welcome guys back at the Halo 5 Launch Party Edition Tournament at the Stonebuy location of the Frisco Mall the Microsoft Store. Next up on stream we'll have Truth Hunters versus Team Me on Regret on Neutral Flag. Will be the first game mode. And this is going to be really interesting because I've never seen uh, Neutral Flag played in Halo 5 yet and the only game mode I've seen is Breakout and Slayer so with an actual new objective where there is a respawn in, I definitely see game play being really different, really fast paced, and a lot more gun based. Yeah, so neutral flag is very interesting to see. So we kind of, like I said, we had about 10, 20 minutes before we actually started the tournament to actually go look into the games, make up the game rules and everything. Kind of seeing what, based on past Halos, and also seeing like what could work. So neutral flag, we have a five minute time limit with a five capture limit. On small maps, very interesting gunfights. You'll see respawn time is very quick. You also see flag capture time is very quick. So if you die and somebody jumps on the flag, guaranteed in three seconds, if you are not taking that flag away, it will be reset back in form. Oh, wow. Back into normal. So it's be a very fast game mode. We did see, um, I believe that was Team Boogers. No, sorry. It was actually Team Gu Guillotine winning 2-1 after five minutes, only having two games. But um, as soon as the game starts, we want to hop on board with Truth Hunters versus Team Me on neutral flag on regret. So um, just a little things going on here. So we're going to talk about the Versus Gameplay Arcade. Versus Gameplay Arcade is actually our break stand, our brick, and mortar, brick and mortar arcade location. It's located at 9750 Walnut Street, Dallas, Texas. Mondays, we actually do the Call of Duty show match. Tuesday, we have Super Smash Brothers. Wednesday, we currently have nothing going on. Thursday will be Street Fighter Weekly or Casuals. Friday will be Mortal Kombat X Weekly. Saturday will be the Ultra Street Fighter 4 Weekly. And Sunday will be Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3 Weekly. Now... I do have to say, Wednesday we had nothing going on on street or on Wednesdays. Wednesday night we will be announcing the Halo 5 show matches coming back Ooh. at the VG Arcade. So alongside like Mondays where we do the Call of Duty show matches, which will actually be moving over to Call of Duty Black Ops 3. Um, we actually starting Halo 5 show matches Wednesday. Not too sure if it will actually start this week or if it will start next week, but it will be within the next two weeks. We'll actually have a first Halo 5 show match. If you would like. To sign up for a Halo 5 show match on stream, it'll be 4v4 competitive with HCS Rule Series. Tweet at me at VGP underscore Shadow or tweet at versus gameplay at V R S U S G A M E P L A Y. And that will be Wednesday's nights. We'll also be contacting the teams probably about Monday to make sure you know you are confirmed for the event. And just in case you can't, just let us know and we'll be sure to get another team to join you. So as soon as the games hop on board here, we'll be hopping back into now. Like I mentioned earlier, we actually do have a Halo 5 or Spartan, I guess John Spartan 117 cosplay going on here. <laughs> yeah. Very good thing happening. Um, we also want to say thank you to Microsoft and everything. You know, they ordered pizza for everybody here at the event, um, doing this launch party tournament starting at 8 p.m. Just completely awesome general, you know, Microsoft showcasing the Halo 5 hunt the truth guardians behind us. Just everything about it. You know, we have the stream going on out there, you know, while the mall is actually watching. So everybody's seeing what we're doing. Mm -hmm. And it's just awesome to see here. But guys, um, as soon as the guy game actually loads up, we actually get comments. Okay. So we are actually started. The game has started. So that's another feature that's actually happening here in um, just in general with um, Halo 5 is you actually have to wait to join the game for spectating it. They have to be on your friends list in order to be spectating. Hmm. But since you'll be commentating with Frosty next game, I'll let you actually hold the commentator controls here. Okay. Now, I will say, um, kind of very strange, because you will eventually get to a start where you will pause it like how I did. I, did. I had no clue how to get off, but just currently waiting for the games to join up here. It will actually pop up saying that you can spectate, so just wait, and it will automatically pop up on board. Um, hopefully sometimes some yeah, there, there you go we see spectate so we'll be hopping into game one here on regret neutral flag regret between team truth hunters and team me as we'll hop into the game game is going on and we'll take a Let's seat go. I, I got it. Let's go. so let's hop into game one so you do see VGP NF Coliseum fight over a neutral flag that all teams need to capture five captures to win five minutes and this is another feature kind of like they took away from quick see teams coming at each other just completely so we're gonna hop on board here with Microsoft Store 02 as we step down neutral flag will be in the middle this actually looks like Coliseum again so I could be wrong never mind it was not regret it's not actually Coliseum so first game will be on Coliseum so um if we can see here 
So, like I said, if you press up on the D-pad, you do get to change characters. I'm not too sure exactly what else besides that, but, you know, we can test the UI. <laughs> um, I believe if you do press B, you actually see the toggle UI command, so you can actually see that. Right, again, so, sorry, press X. X again. There you go. So, you actually see the first person, so you actually see the playback. Um, play speed, you know, the toggle UI. Um, so, if we can toggle the outline back, I believe that way we can actually see the players and where they actually have. So press B again for me, if you will. There yeah, we so go. The toggle outline is back. So my is still 08 with the sniper rifle in hand, I believe. That's DMR, actually. Oh, so it's DMR. Okay, so actually, go. thank you for correcting me there. Does have shots there, one. Ooh, good shot to him. Finally beats down. My is still 02. Flag is still away. Four minutes left in the game. Kill me to back on blue team here. And 09 gets taken out by 04's DMR. Really good play from 04. Now he is going to be the flag carrier. He's got some teammate support. Are they going to be able to put it in? And they are able to get that capture on the board. Really huge play coming out of the red team. Now searching for a bit more players. He's going to spot two. And the flag is in the middle. Throwing some nades to try to get some hit markers. Not really working out there. And dropping out. Bullet is not hitting him. Finally getting a lucky headshot onto 02 and clearing that kill out. Yeah, so the game back in mode. So you actually do have to take the neutral flag back to your base. It does not seem like they know exactly where to take the flag. Yeah, as they no. were taking it back into the red team's base. Red team giving a little back as they actually do have both teams on respawn. The 04 is currently trying to regenerate. Sure, it is at half shields. And there we do have the pause play. So press A again, and you should have play back and play. Or maybe they just took a pause in the game. So press X to take the UI out. And we just have to button mash until we see game is back. Okay, there we go. Game is back. So maybe there was a pause in the game. Maybe that's what happens when that happens. I don't know. You know, we'll find out within yeah. the coming weeklies. And as soon as the game develops, you know, we'll, we'll be more experienced in broadcasting mode. As this is our first ever time running the broadcasting mode here at the Microsoft Store location for the second ever Halo 5 tournament. Oh, and a flag pool going out of the way for blue team, and a nice little beatdown coming out of 04. 02 is going to clean up that kill, though, with the AR. Another gunfight going down. We can switch to 08. Oh. 08 did manage to punch him down, so that is going to be three flags now in favor of Team Red. I believe Team Red is going to be Team Me, so Team Me up 3-0, if I'm not mistaken here, in this best of three game type. First to five wins. Grenade hit him and actually Ooh. deleted his shield. <laughs> And I, I think Team Blue is a little bit confused with carrying the flag back to their base because they keep pushing it towards the red base, and red just has barely any time to even have to go put it up. They are literally 10 feet away from their base almost every time, and now, I mean, up 4-0, to zero, there's not much Blue Team can do. They're completely playing this wrong. No, for sure. And we do see Team 08 there with the DMR. Takes out Team 09 with the headshot there. So we do have one player above him. Places good nade placement. Oh. Does manage to stick him, though, but... Gets killed in the making as that is going to be two players down. Respawn timer will be back up, so let's hop on board here with... Well, let's see who's close to the flag, that is. So game pause again, so we'll see what happens. Game will be back in a second. Um, like I said, I'm not too sure exactly what happens there, but, you know, yeah. it's like, what happens? What do I do now? As game is paused, but we are back into the game. If you could toggle UI so we can see who we are on board with here with again. Press B real quick. Nope. Um, press B. Yeah, so Team 5, victory is over. So just like that, Team 5-0 now. Favor, I believe, Truth Hunters. No, sorry, Team Me did win that. Really good plays coming out of Team Me. They just played that right. I mean, yeah, Team Truth Hunters didn't even know where to take it, uh, where, where to take the flag the whole time. And I did not. It definitely cost them. Yeah, did definitely cost them in that. But we're going to hop on board here with Breakout now. Not too sure what the game will, or map will be, as the map was supposed to be Regret on Neutral Flag, but they cho did choose Coliseum. So it may just be playing the three same maps. Mm -hmm. I'm curious to see how that really works out. Uh, I would like to see a different map rotation. That way you can see game modes on different maps and see how yeah. they are played for future rounds. But actually, no, sorry. We are actually in round one. Round two will actually be Regret on Neutral Flag. Okay. Sorry, that was my mistake. I was actually the one who made the rounds. I, I <laughs> forgot about that. It took me a while, as I do see. But that is going to be Team Me up 1-0 now in favor of Truth Hunters as we hop on board here. Going to try and get back into the game. Let's see what we have going on here. Another giveaway, Another giveaway so, going on right behind us. Yes. Yes. So we're going to hop on board back here in game number two. So game two will happen as it's going to be breakout on Regret. 
break out on regret. I'm really interested to see how these teams play it because blue team definitely had some miscommunication there on where to take that flag. And I think now that it is a game mode based on kills that they won't have that barrier to overcome. So they can just really focus on their gun skill, focus on actually getting those kills, working as a team, baiting and switching, similar to how you did in Search and Destroy in Call of Duty, and just really calling out the players to make sure they're running as a team and getting the objective. Yeah, so another big thing that I actually do see, um, you know, it's a very fast game mode with battle rifles. It's set for, like, you know, not to shallow be played. You know, this is playtesting for all of us, see how the actual game mode is going to be done. But, um, you know, let's hop on back on board here as we do have toggle the UI here. And I'll let you have back control. As I said, you'll be commentating next game. So that is going to be Microsoft Store 02 already down now. So red team already up one kill to zero. They do spot the other blue player in control here. So very interesting to see, as you know, they do outline blue, the, but tags are red. Oh, and 09's going to see both players, and he's basically just done for. Not much yep. you can do when you are being double teamed here in Halo because of just how much health you have compared to other games. And I, I think there, that's just a mistake. I, when you're playing this game mode, when you only have one life, you really, really need to focus on staying with your teammate and making sure you're working together because that's that's everything there is to when you're playing as a team, especially any competitive FPS. Yeah, so like I said, I, I do see that we do see Automental here back into the game. You know, a new feature that was kind of like in Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, they did integrate into Halo 5. Um, you also do see boost jumping as well. Mm -hmm. So another good feature, you know, a lot more movement paced games in Halo 5 as we do see um, in previous Halos. We did not necessarily see all that movement. But, you know, Breakout itself in a game mode as a competitive game mode, very much like Search and Destroy. But the one thing that sets it apart from the Search and Destroy is the maps are very small yeah. based. So it's going to be very fast game modes or maybe you might not start out with a battle rifle. You may, like I said, we just we chose Battle Rifle because that's how you always started out in past Halos. So we just said, hey, let's just do Battle Rifle. You know, the past Halos, we'll, we'll see as it goes. So Battle Rifle maybe is maybe a power weapon on this map. Maybe a power weapon in just general game mode, you know? So it'd be very interesting to see. Maybe we might start out with the Assault Rifle instead. Um, just see, like, you know, everything's really fast-paced and breakout. So O2 might actually spot one player coming up. But if we can transfer over to a different player, you know, watch that perspective as you press up on the D-pad. Remember that you can switch plays with that. So oh, oh, nine. oh my gosh, he just obliterated that player. Oh, eight nice with headshot. a perfect headshot. Okay, so maybe this is why there's no shields. Huh. I That's how come. That. I did not notice that either until just now. I did not notice why there were no shields. So that's how come the game mode's going very fast. I'm not too sure if that was meant to in the game modes. Um, very interesting to see. So yeah, with no shield and this, it's like Team SWAT. Yeah. So very, very interesting very to see. But we do have little things going on here. <laughs> A little bit of just confusion as both players are just going around the wall. Nade's going to be coming out of 04, but throwing off that nade definitely wasted a lot of time. And when you don't have shields to do that, it really does hurt you. So really good place coming out of the blue team. And I just want to comment quickly on the last round, not that round that was just played, but the one before that. Blue team completely punished the red team because they just pulled out the flag and took it right to the base. Instead of playing for the kills, they played for the objective and it paid off. Yep, exactly. You know, we have not seen that yet. And I'm very curious to see how that will actually play out in future breakout game modes because we'll be more about just getting the kills like how it is in Search and Destroy or we'll oh, be no. like playing the bomb. Oh, and we just no. see a double two-piece headshot My coming out God. here from the red team. Tying it up 2-2 two -two now. Completely destroyed the blue team right there. That was absolutely beautiful. He was able to just mount right over the wall, get a nice headshot on the first one, then jump up on that exact same wall and finish the other player off. Just perfect aim coming out of O2. And now gunfights going at the first five seconds of this round. This game mode is incredibly fast paced. O8 with a beautiful flank is going to be able to pick up a kill. Now searching for a bit more. That player is going to be behind the wall and he is going to be left in a 1v2 situation. Does he have any nades though? Now his teammate O9, well, no, sorry, the opposing player that's 1v2 situation does have two nades. He does have one red grenade and I'm not too sure what the other one is might be a pulse I could be yeah, wrong about it's a that pulse. yeah so it's a pulse grenade but compared to the other players he does have that advantage does the flag is being down oh, and this is it. actually gonna be a game into red team as I don't think he will yep he will not have enough time to make it back another good move by the red team taking the objective there three two now will we see Around six, or oh, sorry, around seven, I guess you want to say, as it is first to four. Oh, I definitely hope we can see around seven. Really, really fast game out off the break. Grenade coming in. Is he going to get the double kill? No, doesn't in time. The grenade doesn't go off. And actually, the red team gets that shot and will win that map, making it a 4-2 lead. Really good job from them. Yeah, so if I'm not mistaken, 
will that be a 2-0 victory now in favor of Team Me? Team Me we're advancing 2-0 over Team mm -hmm. Truth Hunters. But guys, we're going to take into a quick break as we do have the existing teams setting back up. So um, just a little break breather for us. So we'll see what happens as the streamers. Not too sure if we're on break yet, but we'll see. <laughs> so again, guys, the Xbox Elite Controller, if you could pass it over to me real quick. The Xbox Elite Controller, you know, you saw this happen. This is the answer to the Scuff Gaming Controller. And oh, coincidentally, really? they did partner with Scuff Gaming for, I believe, some technology behind this controller. No, it does have the paddles on the back. Mm -hmm. It does have the interchangeable D-pad here. Now, this controller originally releases November 3rd. Well, at the Microsoft stores, starting at 11 p.m. tonight, you can actually purchase this controller from any nationwide Microsoft store tonight for the original retail price. I Sadly, I do not know the price off the top of my head, mm -hmm. but you can actually buy this and be one of the first people to own the Xbox original Elite controller. As you do look over here to Markel, as he is taking our picture, you know. <laughs> but we will see this controller first be released tonight at 11 p.m. Remember, guys, take it down. Does that show retail price one forty nine ninety nine on the back? That's definitely worth it because scuffs. I mean, they're upwards of three hundred dollars. I know mine cost me two hundred fifty. So that is just really, really useful. Really good price for what you get and. A, people underestimate the power of a controller when it comes to competitive yeah. gaming, especially in a game mode as fast as Halo 5. Exactly. So just to going over some features here. So it's like a cheap grade control. So you have the paddles on the back. You also have the grip itself. So fire faster. So you do have a hair trigger where you actually, I guess you can toggle it where it goes down faster or maybe it shoots faster. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's flip the hair trigger locks to upload more quickly. Yeah. So optimize for any game. So one or two, reassign buttons and treats since they in each control you profile you can play, create and customize your experience, and then also you can personalize your experience. So it's going to be very interesting to see. Um, so we do have other teams hopping up, but guys, that's going to be it for me on stream for right now. As we all have a cone commentator, Frosty XX, coming up on stream, commentating with Putrid Orange. But guys, let's exit the game. Um, we want to go to a quick little breather real quick as yep. I, we do change out the teams and everything like that. So guys, just bear with us as we... Just come back with more action for Halo 5 at the release launch party. We may introduce you into round two where yes, you might see neutral flag on regret or we might go into round number one with the final team. So, guys, I'll be off stream and you'll have Frosty XX back on stream here soon. Sounds so. good. It was a pleasure casting. Pleasure casting.